Let's go. And it's the first day of clinicals. For some reason, they're having us wear our scrubs to online clinical. So here we are. This is where we're at today. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am currently an accelerated BSN nursing student and today was my very first clinical. Well, online that is. Um, unfortunately with COVID-19, we don't know exactly when we are going to be back in the hospital, but they are trying to accommodate the nursing students in my program at least to be able to have clinical online. So let's go ahead and get to the video and let's get started. So the way my clinicals would normally work if I was scheduled at a facility, you are either assigned the morning shift or the evening shift. Um, we usually don't have weekend clinicals just because I am in an accelerated program, but that could change um, from nursing school to nursing school, so it just depends. And I currently have two clinicals this semester. I have med surge and mental health, and they are both scheduled from 7 a.m. to 3.30 in the afternoon. Now I do have a professor who does like us to show up 30 minutes early if we were to be in the facility, which they are predicting possibly in the summer we could go back. However, the state that I am currently going to school in is still on lockdown until the end of May, so we do not know what is going to be happening with our summer semester. So, so far everything is online, but they are trying to accommodate by making sure that we are working with patients, even though they might not be patients in the hospital. We are working with virtual patients, so we are doing simulations, so we are getting some sort of not hands-on experience, but just some experience to be able to take away from our clinical experience. So of course, my professor utilized the whole entire time during our clinical day to go over orientation. She covered topics from the syllabus, such as course outcomes, expectations, how the course is gonna be laid out while we're on Zoom. She went over every topic that we have to cover throughout the semester, as well as all the assignments that we have due. So it was a little bit overwhelming to go through each assignment. However, it was nice to know what is expected of us, what the due dates are. And I know not everything is due at once, so I do have a lot of time to work on these assignments. And I was given two assignments right away that are due in the upcoming weeks. She wants us to cover drug cards. Our pharmacology class in my program does not cover medications to treat mental health, so they do put that in our mental health class. I do have to make drug cards on the medications that I was assigned, as well as when it comes to mental health and diagnosis, there are a lot of toolkits that doctors and even just self-report toolkits that are used to diagnose a patient. So we do have to go through each of those toolkits to understand how they're utilized and how they're used for diagnosis purposes. So my professor went in depth in the attendance policy and she <laughs> stressed the importance of showing up to clinical, especially on time at 7 a.m. Even though we are on Zoom, she still wants us to be professional, show up by 7 a.m. And, you know, if you do miss a clinical, you do miss a few points, and you can only miss so many points or else you fail the clinical. So you don't want to set yourself up for failure. And it is a little bit different since it's on Zoom, but we still have the same expectations as if we were going into the facility. So another thing my professor did was just to check in on how her students were doing. She asked us how we were dealing with the COVID-19 crisis, what self-care techniques we were doing, and I think that's so important, especially with this being unknown and we don't know how long this is going to go on for. It's just nice to know to have a professor check in every once in a while just to make sure that we're mentally doing okay and we're taking care of ourselves during this time. 
So just some things that stood out to me on my first day is my clinical instructor for mental health taught us how to defend ourselves in case we ever encountered a patient who might be combative. So that was pretty interesting. We had to learn different techniques. For example, if a patient grabbed my hair, how would I get out of the situation? Or if they tried to choke my neck, how would I get out of that situation? Another topic that my professor covered was simulation. So since we aren't in a facility right now, we are working on two virtual patients. And we do have pre-work for those patients so we can be prepared before the simulation. And I'm not sure how the simulations are going to go at all or really what the pre-work looks like. And this is how they're trying to quote unquote keep us hands on while we're learning in the Zoom setting. So I will definitely let you know how that goes whenever we reach that point. And I know that my clinical day wasn't very exciting, but at least you are able to get a glimpse onto how nursing students might be doing their clinicals. At least this is how my school is doing it during this time. Like I said, my school should let us know soon whether, we'll, whether or not we'll be back in the clinical site either July or possibly fall. And I'll be able to give more of an in-depth on how my day goes in clinical. And I just want to shout out to all the pre-nursing students, nursing students, and nurses who are even looking for their first job. Good luck to all of you. I know that nursing school can be very stressful, overwhelming, have its ups and downs. However, I believe if you have good time management and you have some great self-care techniques, you can get through it and you will get that degree at the end of your program. So just let me know what recommendations you might have for the future and what videos you want to see. I know for me, I turn to YouTube um, to know what to expect in my future courses, so I would love to know what you guys want to see. And thank you for watching.